Now when you're doing experiments, mostly you'll get very many digits and very many numbers. So which digits should you take? So that is why we have significant figures. And in this video, we're going to deal with the rules of counting significant figures. So to start with, all non-zero integers like this value over here counts as significant figures. So in this number here, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 significant figures. Now what about if you have zeros before it or after the number? Or what about if you have zeros in between? Now for that we have other rules which are the zero rules. Now there are three classes of zeros. We have leading zeros which are the zeros at the beginning and you have captive zeros and you also have trailing zeros. So the leading zeros do not count as significant figures and the captive zeros always count as significant figures but the trailing zeros counts as significant figures only if there's a decimal point so let's take for example this number here zero zero one one five how many significant figures are in this number so we can see here, we have non-zero integers, so these count as significant figures. So we have here three significant figures. But what about these zeros? Now because they are in the beginning, they do not count as significant figures. So this means that here we have three significant figures. Now what about this value right over here, when you have three zero 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 nine? How many significant figures do we have? Well, we can see here we have two non integers, so it means we have one and we have here one. So this means we have two significant figures. But what about these zeros? Now, because they are captive or they are in between, then these, this means that these will also count as significant figures. So we will have here one two three four five six significant figures let's take an example of trailing zeros so when you have a, a number like this five six zero 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 then how many significant figures do we have we will only take these two as uh, significant figures because these are trailing zeros so it means that we have here two significant figures. Now how about if you have a value like this 78.000. Now because you have point here this means that all of these will be significant figures. So we'll have here how many significant figures? We'll count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll have 5 significant figures.